Good morning. How are y'all doing? You were on the Twitch and the Twitch didn't tell you that we're starting. The lights feel very hot today. My very, I mean, not temperature wise, but like brightness wise. How are y'all? Cub fan Marte, three months of subbing. Are you still a Cub fan after last week? Marte, I'm not so sure about that. Alan Shutko, 15 months of subbing. Yeah, so there was, I, I should find this link. I'll put it on Twitter. The, the alerts are consistently a problem. Um, you got an email from Twitch that I was on. So there is actually, people have discovered a certain setting that if you go toggle off, it will make the alert notifications work again. But the toggle on is like smart notifications. If you can find the smart notifications button on your Twitter account, turn it off. You do not want smart notifications. We want dumb notifications here. We are all about dumb notifications. Sergeant Stretch, seven months of subbing. Nib Wars, 19 months of subbing. Thank you all both so much. We appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. So yeah, that's what it is. If you can find, go to the notifications. There's a toggle button for smart notifications. Turn it off. Get stupid. That's my best advice to you on notifications is to get, get dumb notifications. How are we? And Brenna Lear, did I miss that one? Five months of subbing. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Really, really cool. DC Pin Show this week in two more days. Can I get a one in the chat for anyone going to DC? Get a one. Get a one in the chat if you're going to DC. Nice. Evan Max is at the beach. Greg is in the ATL. I was listening to run, to run the Jewels, so I was partially in the ATL. Oh, look at all the zeros. I had to say, I didn't say put zeros in the chat for no going. I didn't say zeros in the chat for no going. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's only ones if you're going, chat. <laughs> ones if you're going. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, how are we doing? We have a good weekend? We have a good weekend? I, I had... I am happy, this is one of those weeks where I'm happy to get to this week after last week. Last week was just a hot mess and like all good stuff, meow to you, Tony. Um, but like no, no workflow whatsoever. Starting Sunday afternoon, back in the workflow, I'm much happier. Thank you, Bork and Bork. That is the way, that is the way. One dog night, 22 months of subbing. Let's go. Yeah, I'm just finishing up the, uh, I'll, I'll write about this. I'm just finishing up the um, What Had Happened Was podcast that I've spoken about uh, with LP on it. So I'm very deep into RTJ right now. I mean, I already was, but even more so. Get composted 20 months. Did you get the fig boot Leonardo? No, I did not need another Leonardo. Um, I loved it though. Like, I, I didn't need that. Posture check. I'm feeling pretty good so far this morning, Andrew, only because we've just gotten, gotten started. Um, I'm feeling properly uh, postured, I think, at this time. Um, I am going to go ahead and, oh, hydrate. There's the hydrate. I was going to say I am going to go ahead and, and hydrate because I am warm. Pro tip. This is TMI. This is inside baseball chat. If you stream, okay, if you're a streamer and you have to be on the video, um... Do not take a hot shower within the 30 minutes before you start to stream because you will not cool down when you're the size of someone like me prior to stream. <laughs> so I'm feeling warm this morning. So we're gonna have, we have ice water. I know who your guest was on the podcast. I know, I know. I think y'all all know. So uh, yes, no, no cap. <laughs> How did Elizabeth's birthday go? It went amazingly well. Um, I'd share pictures of, of, of the party, but she would yell at me. Um, but uh, it went really well. No, no issues. Just, you know, too many boys that can drive are now appearing at our house. Which I'm not comfortable with. <laughs> Smanned. Whew. So yeah, 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 yeah. Taking the kids on cave tours this weekend. I had to scroll back to see what y'all were talking about. <clears throat> yeah, I got to get that shoddy ready. Facts. I'm going to run there, Jules. 
Oh, see, that's the other thing that stresses me out of Talon A is because Toby has to be put away, and he just bork, bork, borks the whole time, the whole time. Hey, A Cray, do you have your you have your DC map ready for publication yet or no? Andrew, I was at Atlas Stations yesterday. They didn't have any smans. What is wrong with them? We need to get them on the smand. Sitting at the front door, stropping a knife is a good deterrent. I just need to get that. Need to get the big strop and the big blade. That's not a knife. Cool net, 11 months of subbing. Appreciate you. Glad y'all are here this morning. Uh, we needed a stream. Did you see the cat at the Yankee game last night? I saw the cat. I was more interested in the praying mantis on Victor Robles' head in the Nationals game. That's what chat really needs to know about. Clark Retzer, seven months of sup for the Prime. Thanks for the Prime, Clark. I really, really appreciate that. Queen of Washi, did you arrive? Is it the afternoon for Queen of Washi? We got to know. We got to know. It's out on the DC site, the map, the interactive map. So A. Cray in the, in the chat here created the interactive map for the DC pen show. Map part not quite. Currently, there's a list of vendors with their categories. Jesse, 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much, Jesse. You are awesome. <clears throat> Atlas stations are one of my favorite thing about living in Chicago. I'm glad they're doing so well. You think the praying mantis was a fake? Ooh, I need to look at that. Has he done that before? Victor Robles has only been up like two years. Like he doesn't rank enough. Uh, he doesn't rank to be able to pull be able to pull stuff out like that in the field during a game. I wouldn't think. I mean, since the Nationals traded all their players away, he might actually rank now, but no. All right, Tony. Fine. It was Tony's idea to get Audrey. Um, just because I get stuck, I get my brain washed um, when I have, to, like, emergency pod situations. And I'm like, I want a good guest. I want someone I haven't had before. Um, and, and Tony said, Audrey. And I was like, that is it. That is the one. As a Chicagoan, I have no clue what the Cubs are doing. As a Sox fan, I'm thriving. It's a good place to be, Galantium. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to go read up on the um, on the praying mantis things, Evan. All right, let me get a text from a pencil. Oh, nice. Oh, that was my friend, Mr. Gamber. I need to reply to my friend, Mr. Wassum, too. I think I'm I, I, I'm I'm guessing. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we, we, we have me and Johnny's got something cooking that I, I participated in, uh, Johnny Gamber pencil revolution. You saw on my Monday post, the, um, Pentel graph 1000. Um, I, that was my background, um, for the image and I've done something else for him that he's got coming out and he was saying it actually accidentally got released early so i might ooh level two hype train let's go oh we got more hi again computer had a moment so queen of washi the question is is it afternoon for you currently where you sit that's that's what the chat needs to know are you currently in the future just signed up for pinact.com loving the content thanks so much greg i really really appreciate that that's my uh that's my baby. If I have any anything that I make, that's that's my baby. Um, the the Panatic membership newsletter is it. Uh, it's it's. I'm really glad to to do that and that everyone supports that. Queen of Washi is in the future. Yay! So successful successful travel. I can't imagine what your first months are going to be like. Uh, I hope we get to talk to you soon. Um, we need to do a, maybe we do like a we need to do like a Belgian stationary tour or something like that. I saw the accident early announcement, I think, and it was exciting. Yeah, so where did it come out? He's texting me. I don't know what happened. Let's see. Oh, okay. So the actual physical, the announcement, Evan, went early in relation to the physical being available. So... Greg T now put those pins up for sale. So I'm going to shoot for the weekend after this one. So DC pin shows this weekend. I'll wait till next weekend. That'll give me the time. That'll give me a date. So look for that in two weeks, week and a half or so for now. So yeah, those will, uh, Namiki winner, Vlad, 
that's my favorite like that's like one of my favorite things because it's it's like legitimately stupid right it's just americans thinking they're the only uh only time zone in the world and how could someone be like in the future but uh so i love doing that this week's friend of the show for panatic members is uh quilladilic which many of y'all know might know from instagram or uh the blog quilladilic um nicholas gold from australia he was like an entire day in the future um, when I talked to him last week. So we're going to release that this week for Panatic members. So, uh, yeah, so we really, so I use that same joke there because I like that joke. I, I have to have that joke. Still don't know what to do without Tomoe River paper. You know what? If you're going to DC, I think I, I saw you Rattler Jen. Um, I would, I would find some there. See if you can find some. Queen of Washington, I might have a thing you'd be interested in, a pen that got, I got a mini grocery store. Yeah. Oh, and you're going to a stationary store tomorrow. Yeah, we need to talk. We need to do some, uh, we need to do some Belgium uh, stationary. Dr. Coleman, good morning, friend. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, all right, schedule this week. Let's talk about it right now. We got a lot going on all of a sudden, which is good. So I'm actually finally able to do things. Um, again, getting some like work stuff again. I just picked up 585 sheets of what I'm pretty sure was old TR on Amazon last week. Nice. Rewizzles, it's only 8 a.m. You're not even in a real time zone, Rewizzles, so slow your roll. Okay? Slow down, fake time zone person. <laughs> I mean, if you're in mountain time do zone, do you are you actually present in the world? I have my doubts. <laughs> I mean, some people believe in flat earth. Uh, people like me don't believe the mountain time zone is real. And I think it's just fake. And I think y'all don't even exist. It's a pretend. I have a TR stash. Saw someone in Slack who picked up 4,000 sheets. Good grief. Good grief. So, schedule. Today, streaming. That's what we're doing here right now. I have a bunch of small packages to open today things i need to get to that i've been i've been stacking up um so we're gonna get to that um just because i need to do it and this is the best time for me to do it <laughs> i maybe a couple surprises maybe a couple not so surprises i don't even know what's down there i'm trying to look at it and determine what it is and i i know like one of the things for sure but i'm not sure on the rest um tomorrow the podcast oh we're gonna hold that thought how did the first days of the learner's permit go? Thank you, Rewizzles. Um, not bad. She's definitely, so like the two things, the, the immediate things we have to work on right now are hugging the edge of the road, right? So, you know, she's, you don't want to be near the cars that are going this way. So you, <laughs> you drive off the cliff on this side of the road and um, accelerating out of a stop on a turn right so she's slow rolling the okay she comes to the complete stop and he needs to take a right and she's like crawling around that corner so we gotta we gotta work on some uh some uh stepping on it there a little bit so otherwise going well she's doing fine they started school yesterday um in case y'all didn't know um so they've been really really good um they did really good on the first day and uh elizabeth was awesome uh, starting 10th grade, Tyler starting 8th. So carpool's back on the menu. For me, uh, luckily my wife has been taking them yesterday and today. So carpool is back on the menu. So that actually goes into my schedule now. Into, you know, this. Because it's like an hour round trip in the morning and an hour and a half in the afternoon. I have to allocate for that. Like this is one of the reasons why I'm in this layout is I have to allocate for that to make sure I get the other work done before and after, um, you know, when I have to spend, like I'm gonna lose two and a half, on the days where I have to do both carpools, I'm gonna lose two and a half hours a day. That's just how it's gonna go. So I have to manage around that. So that's why this hourly schedule is working for me so far training class at work Shh. Shh. kids sure do take a lot of time yeah pretty standard early driver issues my kids both had some acceleration issues when taking a left out of a stop yeah yeah so i mean she's what four days into it five days into it so we have a whole year to get there she's she at least wants to get behind the wheel and is comfortable behind it so everything else will come you know 
you know, for all of us now who have been driving, like it's it's second nature and it's just all feel, right? There's when you're just starting, like I she just there's no feel to it, right? So working on that. All right, back to the schedule. Um, tomorrow, no live podcast since Mike is out of town. Um, if you follow him on Instagram, you might have seen he's in Romania. Um, so I recorded a podcast with. The Nib Doctor, Audrey Madison, Franklin Christoph's Nib Doctor. We had an awesome conversation. It's already in the can. All the files are up to Mike. So I would look for it tomorrow, like around regular time, honestly, because um, it should be edited today and then post scheduled to post tomorrow. Lose two and a half hours a day, but gain two and a half hours of enlightenment. So it was funny, Timbalo Puma. I got more done yesterday not having anyone at the house um, for like four or five hours than I did if they were home all day. in in like 12 hours it's just like how it goes um one of my friends uh well tim uh, i was texting tim wassum from the erasables was texting me he's a teacher he goes back wednesday he's like i'm so excited to go back because he's got young kids younger kids than me than me and he's like i would rather be in school than play cruise director all day and that's what that was a really good way to put it um when you have kids at home and like you're trying to work like you're you're like the cruise director all day i need this i need that what are we going to do this what are we going to do that so i actually got more done yesterday than i have in a long time so it was good all right so back to wednesday we're going to stream at 10 a.m tomorrow um during the regular podcast time so adjust your schedules accordingly i don't think i'm going to wait until 11 30 ish when i would normally stream on wednesday we'll just do a a 10 a.m stream today we're going to do mail um open up the mail that I have tomorrow we're going to do pen cleaning because I've been running really really behind so I'm just going to take advantage of the extra stream time tomorrow to do pen cleaning on stream um and then Thursday we're going to do a spoke pen new product show and tell so I picked up a bunch of stuff from Brian on Friday so this is all stuff that's going to be going on the website for sale like in the next month um so we'll be i'm gonna go through some of that stuff new spokes no new models but a lot of new colors and a lot of new part styles which we'll, we'll go over all that before it's gonna be pretty cool i think it'll be a, make a lot of people happy for what they were looking for with our original launch dr d three months of subbing you were awesome grips lots of grips so i've already built myself a new spoke pen put it that way because there's some interesting stuff happening and uh, I am all all about it. So, oh, I take that back stretch. There's going to be one new model. There is one new model. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, have an official prototype of the new model. I might get show a prototype of the new model. New model. Is it bigger? Is what bigger? The icon? Hey, Dr. D. So we... Uh, We'll, we'll go over it all on um, Thursday, but it's uh, the new model is a larger pencil. It's a slightly bigger pencil. Slumberland Studio, we never make enough. <laughs> the new model be a pencil. should be a Model 6 pencil. Was your embargo package the Esterbrook Jr. Uh, JR? You tell me. I feel attacked with that pack in. <laughs> that was one embargo. The other embargo product is right here. Oh, that I mean, that's not me tapping it. It's over here. But uh, I usually don't have it on the desk when I stream because I really genuinely cannot share this. Like I have, for the, the Esterbrook, they just do this to me, right? They just do this. They're like, Brad, come on, Brad, like, for the other product, I had to sign paperwork. So essentially, I have agreed to like paperwork for the other the other product. So I am I sh- I have it on my desk, and I'm kind of regretting that fact right now. <laughs> I should be wearing a Hawaiian shirt to review that. I mean, I didn't think about that, but uh, yeah, I I probably should have. I don't really have a, like a traditional Hawaiian shirt, but like all my shirts are like these patterny stuff. Tessa, the city over for us, school district has had a case. We're having lots of cases around here. 
uh, for sure. So y'all going to DC, please be safe, safe out there. I saw they, they're mandating masks now at the DC pen show. Kimberly's first post this week. Yes. Coming Friday. So, um, I hope I didn't give y'all too much of a, a panic attack on Friday's post. I edited that whole post and didn't realize the article title until I went and put it in the back end for, uh, for Squarespace. And I put in the title. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, we, I, I, I told her, I was like, I shouldn't do this, but I want to do it. So let's just do it. And she was like, okay, you can change it if you want. And I'm like, no, I mean, like, like the words immediately below should tell you, you know, that it's uh, not what you think it is. Um, so it was, <laughs> I got some emails though. We'll just say that I got some messaging. <laughs> I, I had to do it. I, 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 I could not do it. it. If I had more time to think about it, I would have changed it, but I didn't like I edited the whole thing and didn't even notice it. Cause I don't edit in the, on the back end CMS, which no one should ever do that. So I just didn't even consider the title. I was more worried about the article and putting it together. And then I emailed her. I said, OMG, this title. And I, and I was like, I, I'm using it. <laughs> I, I'm just going to do it. So yeah. Is the other embargo worth the hype? Should we start talking up like Segway assuming be incredibly disappointed? Um, it's not gonna be worth the hype for everyone. It's not a product for everyone. It's a product for me that I'm like, you know, you might like it out. I, I don't know what to say about this product. I'm not even gonna talk about it. Um, but you'll know at the end of this month, end of this month. So Brad admitting he wanted to kill off any readers with a heart condition. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got some emails. I'll just leave it at that. So um, that was Wednesday and Thursday stream. So we're going to do 10 a.m. streams these Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that should be um, that should be our schedule this week. So we good? We good? We're going to do mail day today, pen cleaning tomorrow, spoke preview, show and tell Thursday. <laughs> you might like it. Alan sounds a whole lot. I didn't. Oh, well, I was thinking, I was like, I don't know if Alan would like it or not. I don't, there's some, yeah, I'm not sure. Alan's use case scenario. Definitely, maybe. How about that? Hey, Jesse, good morning. Good morning. Random question. Are you a fan of William Hanna? Is it worth the money? I'm debating a new planner because the whole Moodinchi wasn't doing it for me. Any questions? Any questions? Tessa ordered a Shone Ultim pen. I want to talk about my Shone Ultim pen today. So yeah, Dr. Coleman, I've been using this uh, for what, a year or two? two? Two years? Collaborator, hello, I'm looking to buy a ballpoint pen as a gift. Any recommendations? What's uh, What kind of price point are you looking at, Collaborator? I can definitely help you out. I have opinions on that. So yeah, Dr. Coleman, <laughs> yeah, email me. Um, and I'm, I'm glad, I've gone through it a couple times on stream, you know. I mostly use it for like planner type stuff. And then I have like notes sections in the back and various things like that. So, yeah. Oh, two hundred dollar budget. Shoot, you're wide open then for a ballpoint. I mean, um, wow, that's actually a bigger budget. I'm trying to spend all your money because I love the uh, I love the Lamy two thousand ballpoint. It's retractable and it's awesome and it's like sixty bucks. Yeah, Lamy 2K Rollerball is legit good. And it's like 60, 70, maybe 80 bucks. No more than that. Um, the Sailor Ball Points are really nice. I've been eyeballing the Pelican Ball Points. Um, Pinch LA always puts the uh, Pelicans on there on sale on the sale page. And there are you can get some really nice Pelican Ball Points. I think they're like 180-ish. So, I mean, my rec my expensive ballpoint pen recommendation is always the Lamy 2k Lamy 2000 ballpoint but it's it's like less than 80 dollars i think when i bought mine it was like 60 they might have raised the price though 
and it's it's an awesome pin. Outside of that, I'd look at some of the Pelicans or maybe the Sailors. Let me dialogue one. Any of the any of the expensive Lamis would be nice. The Diplomat Era looks good too. I haven't tried those, but yeah, looks good. All right, collaborator, collaborator, email me if you have any questions. Pelican ball points are like luxury Parker Jotter, same refill, slightly wider and more refined trimmings. Yeah, like the 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 Pelicans is just like a very exquisite build quality on that pin for your Parker style refills, right? That's what ball points are. That's why that's actually a hard category. If you want to buy a ballpoint pin like in the 200 plus range, like you're really paying for like um, styling bells and whistles, right? Materials, shapes, things like that. You know, you're, you're trying to balance. Oh, for my girls, something fancy and decorated, start with Pelican. Just go straight to the Pelicans. Look at Pen Chalet's, um, go to the deals page on Pen Chalet. Um, at the top of the page, there's a podcast button, hashtag ad. Um, type Pen Addict in that, on that page. Click on the radio podcast link, type Pen Addict. And then on that list, I know just last week, Ron had put some Pelican ball points in there. I can't remember what the colors were. I know there was a basic black one, but I think there's some colorful ones. And I think the Diplomats are on that page too. So take a look at those. That's that's exactly where I'd start. Quisp and Tang, 25 months of stopping. Thank you so much. That is awesome. 25 months. Thank you so much for the prime sub. You are fantastic. All right, let's um let's open some things. You I've already teased the the one thing. Like let's see. Oops. Like, I feel personally attacked when this when I opened the box, this is what it looked like, right? It's like, I'm surprised there wasn't like a big Brad like across this. <laughs> Please hold from showing. But I also wor wasn't worried about showing y'all this on Friday because I was so busy because I knew like literally everyone would have this, have this stuff. So I wasn't worried about it that they would pop out. So yeah, look, they sent me all three of them. So that's the cool part about this is they actually sent me every color. Which, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you saw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this. We should put this on the wall. That's a reminder for Brad to check his embargoes. Jesse, 21 months of subbing. Thank you for the prime sub, Jesse. You rule. Um, so yeah, they sent me. Uh, they sent me the three pens today. Penanic.com. That's my blog. I am giving one of these away. We had to do a poll. I didn't know which one I was going to give away. So there's three colors. We'll open all these up. I have one of each. The pins look amazing. That's our friend, Hey Matthew, who did the pin artwork. They are super cool. I didn't have any of those because they weren't ready when they sent me these. Um, so let's see here. So this is the orange sunset. Is that the one I'm giving away? So this is the giveaway pin. So orange won the poll yesterday. I ran a Twitter poll. Get a pet. 10 months of subbing. Thank you so much. I'll help you just send the blue to this guy. So blue and orange, I think we're like one or two votes apart. Namiki Winter Vlad, thank you for the prime sub. Five months of sub, man. Thank you so much. Everything, like all the accessories they did for this uh, were really, really cool. And like, I mean, I love Matthew's artwork on it. So I did a poll yesterday. Somewhere. And the results were 42% orange sunset, 39% blue breeze, 19% lemon twist. So I'll, I'll, I will uh, open all these up. But this is the giveaway one. So this is the orange giveaway one. The materials look as good in person as they do on the, um, on the images that they sent. So this is the orange. My apologies. Hang on one sec. So this is the orange, really nice material, gold trim. They all have some type of um, opposite color finial. Um, it's like the blue has the yellow. The yellow has the blue, I think. Um, we'll get them all out and look at it. Yeah, so this is the orange. It has a fine nib. I am giving away this pen. So go to penatic.com, the link. 
What's the orange and black pin above? I will show you that. That might be something you, you'd be interested in. That's an Ajoto pin. It's an intense color. This is nothing, I don't think, compared to like when you have them all together in the set. Um, so yeah, and then these are steel nibs, gold plated. So this is a fine nib here. Right, and really just like really cool swirls, really cool, cool acrylic. Queen of Washi, I think I like the lemon one best. I do too. So too bad it's orange, smand. So this is the Ajoto collaborator. You might want to look at the Ajoto for a ballpoint option. That might be something. They're generally not this wild, right? They're more basic. basic. It's A-J-O-T-O. -O. So look them up. Um, but like their ball points are like 180 bucks. So you can take a look at them, but they're mostly like standard aluminum, stainless steel, things like that. So it's sitting on a smand, sitting on a smand. So orange won the pole, right? And I think probably deservedly so. It's really great. So that's orange. And that has a fine nib. They sent me a smattering of nibs. This is lemon. Okay, so I should actually change that terminology. Gold colored, gold colored, is is the right way to to say it. Uh, Namiki winner Vlad, I I do I I do appreciate that. Like I like to be correct. I'm just used to saying plated. All right, this is the lemon. It also has a blue finial. So these colors are fantastic. This one has. An extra fine nib. I think I'm keeping this one for me. Or we'll see. Converters, Estabrook stamp converters, cool barrel. I I do like the lemon with the gold toned gold color hardware. Gold tone hardware. I like saying tone than color. Um, so that's lemon. Okay, and then, oops, lemon, lemon, and then this is, this is Blue Breeze. All you lemon people did, must not have voted in the uh, poll. Lemon was, lemon was the low, low votes. So this is the Blue Breeze. So what are these called? Uh, Orange Sunset, Lemon Twist, and then this is Blue Breeze. I, th I think objectively the blue is the best. I think... I would pick the yellow and then orange was the most popular. So what's the difference between ball and roller? They're the same tip. It's just the ink. So a ballpoint is an oil based ink and a roller ball is a um, water based ink. So it's a, they're just different ink properties, but they're both technically roller ball pens because they have a ball in the, in the nib. Is there a plural group for nibs and pens, a book of pens, a writing of nibs? It's a good question, I don't know. What's on here? So this has a broad nib. So this is probably gonna go to one of the review crew at some point, not Jeff. Jeff did the first one. Uh, Jeff did the standard release, JR. The We had the navy blue one. Um, so I'll probably be sending this to Sarah or Kimberly to review. Um, Sarah, you, you haven't reviewed one of these, right? I think we've only done one of these. So broad nib, fine nib, extra fine nib. They just sent me a, a smattering of this. Are you interested in like a blue, the blue with the broad nib? Like, would that be your jam at all? I call a group of pins, a clutter of pins. That's actually not a bad. I, I think the blue, I think the blue is the best color. Just like it looks awesome like the orange i mean the yellow finial the trim looks great like i mean it's impossible to pick that's that's what i like about this is they did they did such a good job with all three colors the idea of the collection right was good hang on we we have to, we have a lot of texting going on today we have a lot of we have a lot of scheduling up in the air today yeah, I just got red alerted. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. See, red alerts. Woo, woo, woo. Wonderful. How do they compare in size to the SD? <laughs> they feel like they're about half the size. I don't have a regular SD here, I don't think. Can you mix and match the caps and bodies? Oof. I'm sure you can. Look at that, even the finials match when you do it that way. All right, I'm no longer sending you this pen, Sarah, because now I have two new pens. <laughs> Those still look so much nicer than the marketing emails I got from the uh, retailers, yeah. The, mix, the mixed colors actually work perfectly, right? Because the, the way the finials are set up. We'll do some pictures of that uh, later. I mean, they're all going to look good together, I think. No. Oh. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, there's the blue and orange mix up. That's, that's the thing is all three of these work so well together, right? That's just kind of the play. Do you mind the gold furniture? I do not on these ones. There are particular pens where it's not my favorite. These I don't mind at all. The bright, the bright colors of them um, make the make the gold work. It's generally like I'll generally avoid gold and black, like black pens. Like I, I really can't do gold trim on black pens. Otherwise, like gold trim can work for me. So yeah. Uh, I was going to see if I had a regular Estabrook. I don't think I do. Current shipment has not been sent yet, uh, Sarah. So I'm getting a weird post from you. So you're saying it's my fault. That's what you're saying. I'll, I'll take the blame. I was too busy last week. But I, they are sitting on my desk to ship. So there's a Leonardo Memento Zero size comparison. Worth $140? I'll never answer that question. It's like, I can't tell you that. I mean, it feels priced correctly to me. Whether it's worth it to you, I can't answer. But the, the price, it, it feels priced correctly. I think that's what I said about the JR. Like, it seems fine. It's a trip packing close, so those are fun anyway. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's not a big pen. It's, it actually has pocket in the name. Is it a good job or stainless steel i don't uh is it a it's a uh stainless steel nibs yes i don't know who makes these nibs yovo prop yeah these look like the yovo scrolling right doesn't that look like the yovo scrolls I'm not positive. But that looks like the Yovo scroll work for their nibs. So if so, I mean that's that's the best in my book. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, they're definitely a smaller size pen. So which is good. I, I like the smaller size pens. Alright. So many vendors of the DC pen show I have no idea what to look for. How long are you gonna be there? Alright, let me pop these back in. Then I I have some uh some other stuff I need to get to. Will Wellman, eight months of subbing. Is that a demonstrator? Is that demonstrator Twisby? Um, that was a narwhal. That is in my queue to be reviewed that I have not reviewed yet. Best pen is the Gold Nib Kaveco, 250 budget for a new pen. Can you get Gold Nib Kavecos, like stock Gold Nibs, or do you always have to buy the Gold Nib separately? Like the only one I've ever had is the uh, one I bought separately. Uh, 
Oh, you're saying that's what your that's your goals for the show. I'm tracking you now. Oh, you're gonna have plenty of of options. The Iron Feather pins on Insta are going to be there, and those are Grail. So yeah, uh, Iron Feather is awesome. The, uh, Brian, is his name Brian? Yeah, Brian. Brian is the first person that I was ever interested in buying a pin with a roll stopper from. And it's awesome. I have like the owl roll stopper. And uh, it's really cool. I haven't used that pin in a while. I need to I need to get that get that pin inked up because it's really great. That's a big pin. It's a big pin for me. Alright, so Orange Sunset right now, pinatic.com. I'm giving it away. You gotta go over there and sign up for this thing. So the orange one we were just sharing, that is up for giveaway on the blog. And lemon twist and blue breeze, I will figure out what to do with. T B D. All right. I need to open up these things. All right. Fancy packaging fancy packaging I know what this is but I don't know what's in it so this is from our twitch friend Calix creative who we rated um, at least once obviously I think maybe more than once and I actually won one of her giveaways um, from the Trevor project donation so she mailed me this uh, I think it's a pin 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 that she made um so let me see if i can open this she packed this extremely well so i'm trying to be moderately careful here's a quick question does jonathan brooks do a completely custom pins because i have a really cool material idea i mean you can just email him it just i'm gonna say it depends you know depends on what it is and if he has time like one-off custom stuff is really time consuming and expensive so it can't always be done you know you wouldn't have to spell it out if you pronounced it correctly what did i do i'm not even tracking that's how quickly whatever i did went out of my brain pen pen uh Okay, I get you. <laughs> pen. It's a pen. Right? Oh, yeah, like those, like an epoxy river type of thing. Yeah, like I've seen that type of stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just have to email him. Is Brooke, is Brooks here? Is Brooks going to be in DC or no? Sorry, I'm trying not to destroy this, but I am proceeding to destroy this he's on the list well yeah you can check with him there yeah i was going about this the wrong way clearly oh man that's sick I think she designed these and had them made. How cool is that? That's amazing. I want to put that somewhere on, on stream. All right, I'm not going to read. I, I need to open this real quick. I won't read it. if it's... Oh, there's stickers. Oh, yes. Y'all, check it out. Check it out. Oh, so we get to add some stickers to the... Uh, to the board all right i'm gonna read this as short i'm not gonna read it to y'all <laughs> boop, boop. awesome thank you calyx so if y'all aren't following calyx I mean, um what's her twitch handle calyx creative 
Let's see if we can do this. That is a sweet pack of stickers. Let's, can we do this? I'll do it since I know how to spell it, I think. All right, so that's how you can go follow Calyx, and you should. You should do that thing. All right, so let's, um, what do you got, Rainbow? Let's do, um, I can't put them all up there. Let's add rainbow avocado to the board. So I don't think I showed you all this. I was telling you I was going to do this the other day. I started to uh, sticker the icebox of happiness, but I had to put up a, like a piece of paper there just so I wasn't going to stick it directly on the icebox. Okay, sticker. I just cut my nails this morning. This isn't going well for me. This is a bad idea. For your Yeti, I know. Wow, that is a thick sticker. So there's not much on there yet and you really can't see it. And I'm gonna do another piece down here and we'll cover this up eventually. Then maybe we'll give away the sticker sheet, the whole sheet one day. Calyx, sorry, Calyx, thank you, Tessa. You're the one who told me about Calyx anyway. So thank you. This is all your fault. In the, I mean that in the best way possible. All right, next up. Can you imagine opening up an avocado to find there was rainbow color inside? Do you have any short, long pens? And what do you think of them? I do, and I love them. I think they're awesome. And you, like at a show like DC, you can find the elites for inexpensive, like 40 bucks. Pull the trigger on a Lamy Dialogue 3 and EF today. Lamy India is doing a 40% off promo. Wow, that's crazy. That's a good price. I'm actually gonna sell my piano white uh, dialogue three. That's in the that's in the sale section. All right, I hadn't opened this yet. Field notes trailhead. Pretty cool. Like the green. Ooh, it's like uh, orange foil stamping. Orange staples. Uh, trail. Each uh, back of the map has trails. So what do we have? The uh, What's the Pacific, is it Pacific Coast Trail? Is it PCT? And we have the Appalachian Trail, the AT. What's the third one? Okay, blaze it. Blaze it. I know they felt a little guilty about the patches <laughs> this year. <laughs> they felt a little guilty about the patches. When did we get a preview of the sales section? Um, no preview because it, it only, preview only brings questions and I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to launch them. I will say this. I will put notice in the members newsletter first, and then they won't go live when I do the newsletter. I'll say they'll go live at this time on this day kind of thing. So um, let's give away this set with the, um, with the patch real quick. So I'll give you all this one. Field Notes Trailhead Edition. Blaze your trail patch. Let's do a giveaway since we've been going almost an hour. It's about time for a giveaway, right? I think it is. I think it is. Continental Divide. Thank you, Quispin Tang. I was not sure about that. Why do I feel that was Draplin's original idea? Yeah, it took 51 issues. I Like some of the most basic... Um, ideas they probably just get held and held and held um, for when they need them and like intersperse them when they have delays and need like a catch up uh, a catch up release for you know like the, the 50th anniversary took them so long to get out this one they can do it's like perfect Puts perfectly field notes and they can knock it out real quick. 
stuff flying around. All right, let's give this away with the patch. And then I'll see. We have a we have a bunch more to get through. I'm surprised how much. All right, let's do this giveaway. Go. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Followers. You don't have to be a follower or a subscriber. You just have to hit exclamation point raffle and then email me your address if you win. And I'm going to get this next box ready. I love this pen. I'm keeping that. I'm not giving that to y'all. I'm keeping this. Calyx, Calyx, Calyx. <clears throat> I know what's in this, but I've never seen them before. I'll wait till we get done with the raffle. <clears throat> chat, chat, chat. What are we going to do? Smand. I need Elgato Stream Deck and Smand to work together because now the Smand is in front of the Stream Deck, so I can't do this as easily. <laughs> Sorry for your ears or your office <laughs> or your, um, your, um, your meetings. What's the past man? I think it's smund, right? I think it's got to be smund. Something like that. 10 seconds left. If you win, you have to send him to Sergeant Stretch because he hates field notes. I think that's probably the play here. My Blazer Trail Patch was a victim of the first major ink spill this weekend. Oof. No ink spills. This is a no ink spill zone. All right, let's pick a winner. Let's do this quickly because I got a lot to get through. Tainted Crimson 7. Winner. All right, let me get the... Oh. Oh, we got to do this. Your first win. Nice. I just woke your dog. Sorry. Oh, yay. I put some more in there. I thought I did. I wasn't sure. Come on, penguin. There we go. I was getting low. I found this the other day. This is from my friend Susan Lynn. Um, this is one of her washies she sent me. Which is really cool. It's like watercolor pokeball type of situation going on. All right, so this is Tainted Crimson. Release the washi. I haven't designed it yet. Tainted Crimson. Blaze your trail. Is the pen act your only job? Um, I mean, technically, yes, but the, my job entails like many jobs, right? So it's the blog, it's the podcast, it's the stream, it's knock, it's spoke, it's the pen addict shop. So like literally all those things, like no one thing could be my job, if that makes sense. Like but I have all of those things that work together to allow me to do the pen addict stuff for a living. Does that make sense? So it's the, it's the combination of all that stuff. So it's not just the pen addict stuff. All right, back in the penguin. Apparently Brad's a perfect fountain pen owner, never drops his pen and never spills ink. I mean, I don't know what to say, Mafia Geek. I, I feel like the outlier on that. Now I did, um, I did drop a pin and landed nib down, right? But like that was actually because it was on my photography setup and it rolled off. Like I don't like normally like drop pins. Not a, it's not a thing, and spilling ink is not a thing. And yeah, yeah, y'all are y'all crazy. 
IMO, knock and spoke are not Panatic employers, so you have three jobs. Oh, that makes sense. I see what you're saying. Hello, mini mail day. How interesting. I'm going to leave you with a lurk. All right, Ace of Geckos. You have a good day. Brad has more hats than a coat rack. True. I've been using a triangle glasses case as a post, man. I know exactly what you're talking about, Imbrin. <laughs> Does the job, but not as cool. <sighs> is it Knock now? Actually, Knock is probably a subsidiary of Panatic Brands because I'm the sole owner of Knock. So that's... It's under the Panatic umbrella. Spoke is not under the Panatic umbrella. Like, that's a uh, partnership, if you will. All right, Tain and Crimson, winner. Adding this to the stack. I'm getting vertical over here like my hair. My hair is like too pointy today. Let me do something about this. Sorry. All right, so I got an email, as I do. And I don't always answer these emails, but this one I answered because it was from an art company. And this one is an art company. Sman knockoff, I know. This is from an art company that's making a pen. And I was like, fine, I'll take a look at it. I said, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to review it. I said, but I'll take a look at it and I'll give you some, uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. So sometimes this goes well, sometimes not. Um, let me get the name of the company. So Etcher Lab. Has anyone ever heard of Etcher Lab? They have a great logo. That's one of the things. Hey, Dr. Mr. Punny. Did I send your... Did you, you want a thing last week? I feel like I sent you a thing last week. I can't remember. Where was your dip nib from again? Um, Paper Ink Arts. Paper Ink Arts. Right? Isn't that a great logo? Like, your logo design is going to help me... It, it, it will sway my opinion. <laughs> It will sway my opinion of your brand. <laughs> I was like, hey, at your labs, I've never heard of you. Uh, you know a secret about this pen? What's the secret? Probably where it's made. Because it looked pretty generic. So nib size, EF 0.38 millimeters, F 0.5 millimeters, ink capacity 1.9 millimeters. <laughs> So let's see what let's see what we got here. As a graphic designer, that logo is amazing. I do like it. I want it just for the llama. Like I said, they did a good job with the uh, silhouette. Looks like a Twisby Aurora Draco. Let's see. The pictures they showed me, I was like, this pen looks familiar. Like, I'm sure it's something we've seen before, but um, what they're doing is selling, like, a combo set, right? So it's actually, like, this description is actually, they should actually almost have, like, two, two pins because they say EF or F. Well, it's actually both. Like, this is how this set is sold. It's sold as the EF and the F nib for art purposes. So, so these are not exactly cheap I've definitely seen it before I don't know is it a narwhal it's got the clear feed it's got a like a brushed plastic it actually feels pretty good what is it Evan narwhal or noodlers or something like that it's definitely not a twisby i don't think so like this or wing sung are those pilot steel nib knockoffs rich sticks 25 months of summer where's my alert where's my alert wing sung yeah it definitely looked familiar so it looks like the wing sung piston filler get my alerts back rich sticks let's go did you ever hear back from fountain fountain pen revolution i wrote them a letter and sent the pens back and i haven't heard from them um, so yeah 
I knew it looked familiar. So the only thing I'm not sure of is the cost. But if I remember correctly, they weren't like super cheap. What did they email Joe? Did Joe get them too? I don't like this. This uh, piston is kind of wonky. It's not smooth action, that's for sure. So yeah, I think they might be a little expensive. I think like the set's like around 80 bucks or so. So maybe for their uh, customers it's good. Um, they emailed Fig Boot, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Um, can I do this? Because this isn't lined up. There we go. So yeah, I think it's probably for us not a thing. So I'll be interested to see if their customers think it is. So that's definitely feedback I will give them, right? I like the colors. I like the finishes they did. But the technical aspects of the pen, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't like how I can just unscrew this blind cap like very easily. I don't know if I can get this one to work. Can I get this? I could get the clear one to work. Why doesn't that work? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right. It's weird. Like, like when I saw the pictures of them, I think I, uh, I made the right call saying like, there's, I'm not going to review these, but I'll give you feedback. So this is what I'll do sometimes. I was like, yeah, let me take a look. Cause I'm not convinced. And like for us here, you know, I don't know that it's a uh, something that I could recommend to you guys. It just doesn't feel quite right, especially for the price. So yeah, there you go, at your labs. I'll play around with them and see. Why are the logos and not in the same pace on the barrel? It's bugging me, um, stretch, but it's just uh, a, a friction feed nib. So hey, chuckle stuff. Four months of seven. Thank you so much. So they actually are, if I would just, I would have to manually realign it now. So, right, I want it like this, so I see it with the nib. And then depending on the threads on the cap, how it goes, I don't know. So yeah, this one was backwards uh, when I got it out, like it was like this, right? It was like this, so I just switched them around. Yep, so there you go, etchers. Oh, the same distance down the barrel? That's a good question. Let's see. I see. I didn't realize that. There you go. You were correct. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely have an email back to them. That you know, this kind of stuff might fly for their community. It's it's not going to fly for our community. So maybe they'll take that feedback to heart. We'll see. Like it's perfectly fine. I don't know that it's. I I'll have to check the price. But if for some reason, I'm thinking it's like eighty dollars for the two. I don't know that it's eighty dollars. Fine, right? Just get you a Twisby uh, five eighty. I like the style. I like the style of both of them, actually. Which wing, son? I think it's eighty for the pair. I think I'll have to go look. I'd have to look at my email. It was something like that. Whatever it was, it made me go, "Oh, that's a lot." What was the wing, sung model? C 
six ninety eight. The Wing Song six ninety eight is twenty five. It's definitely more than that. Yeah, if it was it was fifty for the set. I mean, they're charging like for all the extra finish on the pen, um, the extra packaging, the extra logo design, all those little extra things. Add a few few bucks here, a few bucks there. So if they're trying to do something for their community, maybe it works. I don't know that they're going to have like a good QC time with these pens. Like I'm already concerned about the piston. So we'll see. Like it's definitely not like a crossover product. Like this isn't going to hit over here for us. You can spend five more and get the Twisby Iris. Yeah, like I would get that. I would get a Twisby over this, like not even, not even a question. All right, so that's probably the last, <laughs> last you'll hear or see, see from those from me. <sighs> Got to get the basics right before you get fancy. So yeah, like maybe it's a start. Maybe like my feedback will help. Maybe it won't. Um. No real skin off my back for this one, though, but uh, I wanted to check it out. <clears throat> All right, next. Ooh. I know what this is. Where can you even find a Twisby Iris right now? Aren't they sold out? I don't even know. I know what this is. It came from Australia. So much tape. How am I going to get into this thing? I'm going to I'm gonna need to like clean my desk from all the mail slime that's out here now I hate dirty mail I have one about to be cleaned and put up how is that a swear word <laughs> oh four they put said put put swear word you know it's good when Brad starts making those sounds well is this one good or not that's to be determined but I know it's at least interesting more interesting than the llama pen from Australia. It's not Robert Oster because it came in a box like this. Something else I ordered from Australia. That's That was very expensive. Llama pajamas. What is happening? We just talked about llamas. Is this like one of those Instagram ads? All right, a lot of packaging here. We're getting there, Chad, I promise. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're almost there. I can feel it. Almost there. You're just a llama and a pajama enthusiast? I appreciate that about you, llama pajama. And you have an awesome name. We made it. We made it, chat. Here's my... $50, my $50 king of pen converter. This is my $50 king of pen converter. <laughs> Here's the important part. That's how much instructions come with this. Oh, it's personalized to Brad. All right. We have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot to think about here, <laughs> Chad. We have a lot to think about. So, <laughs> this is um, a high capacity converter for the Sailor King of Pen. I do not have a King of Pen in here. This is why we're going to do pen cleaning tomorrow, so I can actually ink up some more pens. Um, what is this for? So, so you can fill it without. Um, taking it out I'm guessing so I could like so I could keep this engaged and then syringe fill the back of it if I want to do that what is this part oh I don't know I'm confused $50 shipped US dollars 50 US dollars shipped because they like he makes like 10 of these at a time like it's a highly customized not for everyone thing <laughs> fill the refill on the back <clears throat> so
So yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. And I'm gonna use my King of Pen Sky so we can have a clear view of what's going on with this, right? I don't think the fun of it would be to use like my Tangerine and and you can't even see the, the converter. So we will be checking this out. It is, it is thick. It looks very complicated. This is a big instruction system. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the whore, this is a lot of instructions. So hold the cartridge vertically upside down as shown in the figure, put the cap on, inject the ink from the top of the cartridge using syringe and needle, provided install the cartridge into the fountain pen. Okay, oh, this isn't that, it's actually not complicated. So they're saying fill it from the open end, okay. Is it 3D printed? I wanna say yes. Um, bring the pen into the horizontal position. Before it is installed, after it's installed and used and has some ink in it. Fill the cartridge in the vertical position. Now that is some stuff. So does this needle go here? Are you selling any King of Pins? Yes. Okay. I am selling one King of Pin. It will not come with this cartridge though. I am gonna lose something here. Okay. Silicone grease on the cap of the cartridge is needed to keep the cartridge airtight. So, where? Small amount of grease has also been applied to the part of the cartridge is in contact with the pen. So I should, so I should silicone. Okay, so these threads are greased. That's fine. But then I should, I should grease around here. Is what it's saying. O four A, right? Hit it up around the out, the exterior here. Maybe. As the best as I can tell. This, <laughs> this scares me. But I guess if I, I guess if I don't do it this way. I don't know, man. I'll just take it out and refill it from the bottom again. I can't wait to get, we might have to do this. We'll do this on, we'll do this on stream um, tomorrow. I'll go ahead, since I'm cleaning, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, my sky filled um, with this. I think I missed what's the point of this. So the Sailor King of Pen is a large pen and it has a small capacity converter or cartridge. This is to build a cartridge that is favorable or compatible in size to the capacity of what the kind of the, the idea of what the King of Pen should be. So this is like a custom made 3D printed cartridge that has a, a shocking amount of things going on. All right, we'll figure this out together tomorrow. How's that, chat? We will figure this out tomorrow. I, I, I'm getting it. Like the initial fill should be good. It's it's th this image I'm I'm struggling with. Um, but it seems to be designed to like not leak when you're refilling it from the back. But this is kind of blowing my mind. I'm down with this though. Like I, I get you. I feel you, boss. All right, we'll play with this. All right, way bigger capacity. What is the capacity off the top of your head? Do you remember 04A? I can't remember off the top of my head. So we'll keep this here. Yeah, it's got the capacity in the listing. Listing. He sold out of this last batch after we talked about it. So he, you just have to track his. Um, you just have to track his uh, thing. His. Um, channel on ebay to see when he pops up more he only puts up like 10 at a time jamasaurus rest going on vacation we will have replaced tomorrow could be scary tomorrow could be scary all right one more box this is one of those boxes from jet pins i have no idea 2.7 3.5 yeah for some reason 3.5 is ringing a bell but i could be wrong i'd have to go look but it's it's 
it's at least like a two or three x what you would normally get from the sailor um converters it's probably three x from the converter the 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 cartridges um obviously hold a little bit more ink the converters don't hold squat all right i don't remember what's in this box we'll all look together but first we read the cartoon oh man is this joel again ah oh, it's joel again Joel's cool though. We we read this one a bunch of times. My first day at Jet Pens. Time to make a great impression. Cute accessory, favorite pen, professional attire, perfect makeup, positive attitude. You can do this, Joel. Munch, munch, crunch, baggy, baggy hoodie guy. This uh this is the Jet Pens office, right? Uh, maybe so, Joel. Well, Joel, you're doing it right. I don't know who this who this person is in their hoodie and Cheetos, but. Independence Mike, 15 months of seven. Let's go. What's crappy about the Sailor converters? One capacity, two, they are some of the I have the most problems with the back end unscrewing and ink getting behind the piston than any other converter by a lot. By a long shot. Like a not even close amount. So yeah, they're just like technically flawed. And they charge you like eight bucks for them. Like for like the worst concert converter on the market so great pens terrible converters so all right looks like it's just a little box of randomness here let's see hey molly how are you doing i've had them totally fall apart and dumping into the barrel yeah they are like legit not good i i will use cartridges before them sometimes can we call it the worst when the con 40 exists i i i'm taking the con 40. there's not a substitute uh rattler gin the substitute i have is for the specifically for the king, king of pin which is uh like gigantic con 40 is a million times better than the sailors yeah you need a spring behind the converter <laughs> <laughs> i haven't had any sailor converter disassemble spontaneously well you're doing it wrong then alan because that's like that's one of the feet the best features about them <laughs> have you noticed the sailor converters have a bit of shimmer in the plastic the new ones do the, the older ones do they i'll have to see because they're not like crystal clear right would you refill a cartridge with a needle before using a converter on the kop um probably i mean i've done both I, I like to use the converters on the King of Pins because I have the, um, like the pink converter and the green converter and like the color twist converters. And in my clear, my blue King of Pins, I like seeing the color. So like, I'm okay with it. It's just not, it's just not a great experience. Like it's just facts. For a great pen, their, their converter experience leaves a lot to be desired. Does your Memento Zero converter rattle when you shake the pen? Um, I don't know. I don't shake my that to see. I'm not gonna. I don't want to do that. <laughs> what is wrong with Sailor? Just copy another converter. That's the thing, Rattler Jen. Is like who whose converter are we gonna tell Sailor to copy? I mean, it's just the other converters are just the lesser of evils, right? <laughs> My Leo rattles a bit. The metal on metal or the metal on plastic. I haven't noticed it when I'm writing. I will say that. I'm still new to the hobby. I'm definitely partial to clear translucent bodies on my pins. Yeah, like that's a... Some people love that. Some people hate it. This is a cool case. So this is just like micro rip stop blue fabric. They should all just go standard international. I mean, I like the fittings of the standard in international better. So... Oh, this is Nomadic. Ooh, Nomadic makes really good bags. Literally any other converter would be an improvement. Yes. That is true. So yeah, this is a basic pouch, uh, pouch bag, but it's Nomadic. And Nomadic is just really cool, I think. They make great bags. So flat open pouch here, small little area here for, I don't know what, erasers, stamps whatever it's just like a divider it's not really like a pocket or a pouch yeah this is nomadic p p 
PW22. I haven't seen them make a case in a while. And you know I love them. I just love the brand. Um, so this PW22. And it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a pencil box, right? Um, just pen slots here, envelope here, open pouch here, section off area here, and that's kind of it. Um, angle, angle zip, really just kind of a, probably a more designery effect than, than functional, but like you can feel the quality and like the nomadic stuff. Good morning, Sarah. No, this is this is the Nomadic Backpack Company. This is the same as the Backpack Company. I don't know what Nomadic with a T is. No, the Japanese Nomadic is with a D. Unless no, Nomadic could be something else could be a different company, but Nomadic with a D is a backpack company from Japan. Right, that's not what I'm talking about. Look up Nomadic Japan. That's what this is. Yeah, not that. Look up Nomadic Japan with a D. That is, these are not related. This is Nomadic with a D, the backpack company. They're hard to they're hard to get, hard to find. So Yeah, this is nomadic with a D and they make bags. They they make they've made pin cases in the past, but they've um they're kinda hit or miss on when they decide to do them. So the classic nomadic P O nine is what we made the brass town uh like when we when we first made the um the brass town brand the brass town thing yeah they don't have a big online presence they've always been hard to order from um and jet pens for the longest time had like the exclusive u.s rights to sell all their bags i don't know if that's still the case but that was that was a while ago so yeah nomadic with a d they make awesome bags so yeah that's a that's a cool little pen case there um I just ordered these because they look weird. And they're called Horang, Horang, plastic eraser. High tech, I don't know, we'll see. Horang, so, well, t was it a Tekken character? So yeah, that's just something I, something to test out. Cause I like standalone erasers. What did I get here? I got some of these 0.38 millimeter pens that they had on stock. a sticker sheet um, these are like video game uh, character type sticker sheets you see the little Nintendos and the game playing and the little faces and the, all the different costumes and characters oh that's cool yeah I like this I could put one of these on every day that I play uh, video games which would be like literally almost every day at least five days a week probably Oh, I like the little, uh, they have the little health bars. <laughs> KO. Okay, sorry. I enjoyed that way too much. I was having a conversation with myself mostly. So there were a few different series. I don't know this, my, these, my buddy characters, but there were a few, there was a few different series on jet pens. Um, and I, I totally went for the game one. All right. Um, iconic who I think I've reviewed one or two of their pens before. 
they made these 0.38 millimeter gel pens. So I've got a couple of the colors to test out. I got a lime green and a teal, like a blue green. Um, I've liked them in the past. These designs are, you know, like very kind of retro Crayola esque. <laughs> we were giggling with you. So <laughs> I lost myself a little bit there. I love those pens that just got the purple, not as dark as Uni Signo, but I really like it. Yeah, so, and they're 0.38 um, tip size. So, you know, that's something to test out and, and see, you know, see what we think. What makes a gel mild? They were just talking about the color, like the color saturation, right? And the last thing, I don't know what this is, something from Monami. This feels like a fountain pen box or something. Oh, it's a Monami Safari Rotring. It's a Monami Rotring Safari, I'm guessing. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's a Rotring Safari. Yeah. That's a cool color. I, I like the style and the shape. It's like, it's a chunky one, right? Like, it's chunky. Oh, boy. The, uh, the grip is not, not in the right place. What is happening? This, I hope this is adjustable because the grip is not aligned with the nib. Okay, it twists. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. I guess it twists in perpetuity. It doesn't come out, but it just spins. Look at that. I don't know what's happening there, but mm, that actually might be a problem. Um. I'm concerned. It's uh Yes. Which is strange. I can make it work as long as like I have a hex flat on the top, right? So I have a top then it tapers towards the end. So there's a, there is a taper, right? It's wider here than here. So if you're in that position, it works. But I'm, I'm like actually concerned at how easy it is to spin this. Like this does not take much to move. Yes, it's hex tapering to a circle. And I'm... I want this nib out because it's driving me insane. But it doesn't, it doesn't unscrew. Like there's nothing happening here. So it just feel, uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Nib add it, automatically adjust the paper angle. It does feel like I'm gonna move it. Probably not, I'm probably overthinking it. I do like the style, I like the aesthetic. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a blocky, oh, very, <laughs> there's a very off-center logo chat. I don't know if I can get this in the camera to where you can actually see how, you see how off-center that is. Yipes. All right, see you, Jamasaurus. Y'all can't tell as much as I can tell. Like, all that around the top and right side of the logo is how off center it is. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that bugs the crap out of me. Like, no matter what I think about the pen, if your logo is that crooked, like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's just. Is it supposed to be a 3D effect? Well, I shouldn't have to ask, right? I get what you're trying to say, O4A, but I shouldn't have to sit here and try to ask, say, hey, is this off-center logo trying to actually tell me that it should be a 3D effect, right? Does that make sense? It should be obvious. And to me, it just looks crooked. I get what you're saying. I will actually buy that, I guess. That doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> I see what you're saying. We'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh no, it's not, it's not rotated, it's not centered, but maybe it's, maybe it's supposed to be like that cubic effect, that cube 3D effect 
but it doesn't work in that flat etched sense that it, the, the visuals don't work it just says oh this logo is crooked as heck <laughs> so yeah all right we gotta give something else away today chat we're gonna wrap this up soon so we're gonna stream tomorrow and thursday 10 a.m um what else should we give away oh i see something I need to restock the ice box too. I mean, there's still plenty in there. The stream is very helpy, helpful listening to while debugging map issues. I'm glad you're in, it is helping you. All right. Uh, I think I have, let's give this away. Trash a palooza over here. I think we should put the embargo sign on the door. tape the embargo sign to the door I think Tony's been wanting this so this is another glyphy I have not gotten around to review them yet b6 blank page cream 60 GSM this should be like nice. This should be like super nice. It's got that fabricy type color cover. Um, yeah, this is this is one of the good ones. One of the good ones. All right, so let's give this away. And then we'll call it a day. Dibs on yellow, are y'all stealing my pins? All right, Marmon Gliffy, go. Exclamation point raffle. Enter to win. Oh, let's get the penguin. Penguin butts. feel rude shoving washi tape into the penguin's backside feels like I'm being a little rude not gonna lie not gonna lie chat <clears throat> feels rude I'm not being nice all right what else do we need to do today we're gonna find someone to raid I should probably just go peek at that real quick Belgian waffles. <laughs> All right, I'm open for raid suggestions today, chat, if y'all have any. Be cool to find some stationary streamers or some uh, crafters or some makers. No one I'm following is on, but I don't have a huge follow list. Would it help to think of it as shoving in the pen, penguin spine? I, actually, I think that would make it worse because then I would feel like I'm doing like legitimate like damage to the <laughs> to the penguin. Hey, penguin, would you like an epidural? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so.
Epidores are a good thing. Yeah, but this penguin wasn't asking for one. All right, let's do this giveaway. Winner is Tessa Murphy. Tessa, have you ever won in the stream? Has, is, is this... A, mm, I've sent something to Tessa, but has Tessa actually won? I think Tessa's won because I sent... Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Still got to email me, though. See, it was good vibes for introducing me to Calix. See? See, it was good vibes. See, the giveaway bot knows good vibes when they see it. She very much earned the thing you sent her with her patience. <laughs> She's earned something about that, that's for sure. Has that thing ever come in, Tessa? Has the other thing ever arrived? I mean, not my thing, the the proper thing. The uh, the karma of of which we haven't of which we will no longer speak. The words which will no longer approach. It's your birthday. Is your birthday today? On Sunday. Nice. Amazing. You have not got the thing. That's crazy. What are your opinions on the magnetic cap on the Vis Visconti? I keep wanting to screw it. That's my opinions on it. it. It works fine. Like, I have no problems with it. It's your birthday today, Sarah? Holy cow. Happy birthday. Amazing. Yeah, it's fine. I keep wanting it to twist, though. So, it's a little bit weird. All right. Um... Anyone we have to raid? Like, I'm not seeing... Like, we don't have to do a raid today. I just don't see any of our normal friends on. Um, don't see any, like, bullet journaly crafting things. If you go into just chatting, it's probably a huge mistake. Leo's for the win. That's right, my birthday's in... What's today? Three weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. I wonder if we'll have, I don't even know what day my, I mean, I know what date my birthday is on. I don't know what day it is. If we might have a birthday stream. Oh, wait, I just saw Master Dactyl is cross stitching something. Lego typewriter build. Do you want to see Lego typewriter build? Or um, looks like um, video game character cross stitch. We should probably. Lego typewriter. Let's do Lego typewriter. All right. Celery men. All right, let's raid Celery Men, if they allow raids. Okay, let's do it. All right, y'all be y'all play nice. Let them do their work. Oh, they also have a cool keyboard. All right, love y'all. Y'all have a good day. We'll kick it on over to Celery Men, see what they're up to. We'll be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Be there. Bye.